When we start counting the numbers, we use 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. These counting numbers are called as natural numbers in mathematics. Natural numbers are used in counting many things in our day-to-day -day life. For example, we can count the number of children in our school or the number of people in a city. We can count the number of mangoes in a bag. We can also count the number of people in the whole world. Let us see the predecessor and successor of a number. When you add 1 to a given natural number, you get the next number. This next number is called the successor of the given natural number. For example, the successor of 16 is 16 plus 1 equals 17 and that of 19 is 19 plus 1 equals 20. The number 16 comes before 17. We say that the predecessor of 17 is 17 minus 1 equals 16. The predecessor of 20 is 20 minus 1 equals 19 and so on. The predecessor and successor of 2 are 1 and 3 respectively. What about number 1? The successor of 1 is 1 plus 1 equals 2 and predecessor of 1 is 1 minus 1 equals 0. But 0 does not come in the collection of natural numbers. It is a whole number. So if we take 1 as a natural number, it has no predecessor. But if we take 1 as a whole number, it has predecessor 0. The whole number 0 has no predecessor.